For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem where we have these two blocks with a match of 4 and 6 kilograms respectively. Uh, we have a force of 8 newtons, they want you to find x and they want you to find s. So I'm going to break this problem down. First we got the weight of d which is has a mass of 4 kilograms, so the weight is 4 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity which will be 39.24 newtons. And the weight of E, which has a mass of 6 kilograms, which you multiply it by the 9.81 acceleration of gravity, and you get that it has a weight of 58.86 newtons. You have this angle phi, and you have this angle theta. And you know that this force right here since we're in equilibrium and the sum of the forces in the y equals zero you know this is also equal to 39.24 and you know that this force right here is also equal to 58.86 so this force is also 58.86 and this force is also 39.24 alright so now we got this free body diagram we know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to 0 right so at point A negative 39.24 sine of theta plus 58.86 sine of phi is equal to 0 so sine of phi is equal to 2 sine of theta over 3 let's call this equation 1 sum of the forces in the y is also equal to 0 so 58.86 cosine of phi plus 39.24 cosine of theta minus 80 is equal to 0 remember the force is given at 80 so the force going down is 80 it's plus so 58.86 cosine of phi plus 39.24 cosine of theta is equal to 80 just pass the 80 to the other side and let's call this equation 2. Now you know that in equation 1 we said that sine of phi is equal to 2 sine of theta over 3. Now a way to solve these problems is to build an imaginary triangle. This triangle is not these two triangles, okay? So let's say we have this angle phi. Although this triangle is not this triangle right here, it's not, the angle can be the same. You can have two different triangles with the same angle, just the length of the arms is different. So we have this imaginary triangle and we know that the sine is given by the opposite or the hypotenuse. And we have right here that the sine of phi is 2 sine of theta over 3. So you could say that the opposite is 2 sine of theta and the hypotenuse is 3. So you could find this other arm right here by the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem would say that this arm that's left is equal to 3 square which is 9 minus 4 sine square of theta all square rooted and this will be this last side over here so now that we have this imaginary triangle with these three values the hypotenuse are 3 the opposite side at 2 sine of theta and the as adjacent side at square root of 9 minus 4 sine square of theta you could say that we also know the cosine of phi to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse which is 9 minus 4 sine square of theta all over 3 when you introduce this new equation into equation 2 you're basically going to replace it right here 
for the cosine of phi you get that you get this equation right now turn my page of notes then 2 comes out to be this new equation which is 58.86 times square root of 9 minus 4 sine square of theta all over 3 plus 39.24 cosine of theta is equal to 80 now by dividing 58.86 by 3 let me turn the page you're gonna get that this is equal to 19.62 times the square root of 9 minus 4 sine square of theta plus 39.24 cosine of theta is equal to 80. Now this whole equation if you divide it by 19.62 you get square root of 9 minus 4 sine square of theta because 19.62 divided by itself is 1 plus 2 cosine of theta is equal to 4.077 so we solve for the square root my 9 minus 4 sine square of theta is equal to 4.077 minus 2 cosine of theta you square both sides and you get 9 minus 4 sine square of theta is equal to 16.62 minus 16.31 cosine of theta plus 4 cosine square of theta so basically we're going to solve for 0 so we're going to subtract 9 for both sides this is going to cancel out and then we're going to add 4 sine square of theta to both sides and this is going to cancel out and you're going to get that 0 is equal to 7.62 minus 16.31 cosine of theta and look what happens now you get 4 cosine square of theta plus 4 sine square of theta I hope you see where this is going otherwise you need to brush up on your trigonometry but this is 7.62 minus 16.31 cosine of theta plus we're going to factor out the 4 and we get cosine square of theta plus sine square of theta you know from trigonometry that cosine square of theta plus sine square of the same angle is equal to 1 so this cancels out itself and you get you're going to add this 4 obviously because if this whole thing is 1 this is just 4 and you're going to add it to 7.62 and you get 11.62 minus 16.31 cosine of theta is equal to 0 now all you got to do so for cosine of theta basically you're going to do cosine of theta is equal to 11.62 over 16.31 so for theta you get that theta is equal to 44.56 degrees now that you have theta, you can plug it into equation 1 right here to get phi. And you get sorry, and you get that phi is equal to 27.89 degrees. Now that we have these two angles, everything becomes very easy. Let me add a new page. You know that tangent of phi is equal to x over s because you got phi this is x and s is this, this right here is s so tangent of phi you already have phi you plug it into your calculator is 0.529 is equal to x over s on the other side, the other angle says tangent of theta is equal to 6 minus x over s. So 0.985 is equal to 6 minus x over s. 
so 0.985 s is equal to 6 minus x and on this side 0.529 s is equal to x so basically what you want to do is you want to what I like to do is just divide them. It's an easier way to cancel them out. So you got three, let's call this equation three, let's call this equation four. So if I was to divide equation three over equation four, I would get 0.529s over 0.985s is equal to x over six minus x. So this comes out to be 0.537 because the s's cancel out and this is x minus 6 minus x. So this is 3.22 minus 0.537x is equal to x. You solve for x, you get that x is equal to 2.1 meters. You plug this into, I plug it into 3, you can plug it into 4, same thing, you plug it into 3. And you get that S is equal to 3.97 meters. So final answer for X, final answer for S, which is what they're asking us. Determine the sign of S on the side of X. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.